million units have been distributed since they were released on Friday. The company apologized for the great inconvenience experienced by users. But Apple hasn't commented on reports that the iPhone Plus can bend and break because of its lightweight aluminium shell. Timothy Stenovich is a technology reporter for Huffington Post. He spoke with us earlier from New York with more on how this could have happened. I think a lot of senior executives are asking that, that same question in, in Cupertino, California right now. How did this happen? Really, hours after this was released yesterday, uh, people started reporting uh, issues with their fingerprint scanners and uh, with cellular service being lost, and Apple yanked it. This is a, this is a rare move coming from, from Apple. Uh, they apologized, and they said they're working around the clock to fix it, and I do expect that they'll have another update come out in the next couple of days. It's definitely embarrassing for Apple, but beyond being a huge PR headache uh, for the company, I don't think there's a lot of risk. I do think that the bending iPhones are isolated incidents. Uh, you know, these phones are thinner than they've ever been before, and they're made of aluminum. And, you know, these are computers that we're carrying around. And, yes, they're phones, but we do need to treat them like computers. So if, uh, if you do apply force, just like if you apply force to, to other electronics, they will bend. Uh, you know, but, again, this is more of a PR headache for Apple. Apple would much rather have people focus on uh, how many iPhones it's sold or, you know, how great the new iPhone is or, uh, you know, the lines of people lining up or especially tomorrow when the iPhone is released in, you know, more countries, uh, that kind of news rather than, than these issues that they've been dealing with the last 48 hours.